Hello everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to start a series on the non-calculator part of the GED math test. And we're going to talk about ordering fractions and decimals. So before we get started, I want to show you some common fractions that you may see on this section. And it really helps to start trying to memorize these values and the way that the fraction is represented by a decimal. So what I like to do when I come to questions like this is I convert all of my fractions to the same format. Um, the, the fractions, the decimals, etc. I put them all in the decimals personally because I like to look at decimals more than fractions. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that when you get to negative numbers, the more negative a number is, the smaller its value. And we'll take a look at that in a little bit. But here are some common fractions for you that you may see. Um, you have one half, which is 0.5, one third, one fourth, one fifth, one eighth, and one tenth. And really, you can use these to kind of figure out the values of other fractions you may see. So, for example, let's say you're looking at one fourth is 0.25. If you have three fourths, all you need to do is take 0.25 and multiply it by three, and then you have your decimal. So you can see how these fractions that are kind of like baseline fractions can help you figure out the decimal value for other ones. So let's take a look at an example. It says arrange the following numbers from largest to smallest. And you have some fractions and some decimals. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert all of these to decimals because I like to look at them like that anyway. So a half that I told you was 0 0.5. You have 0 0.6, which is already a decimal. 4 fifths, so remember 1 fifth is 0.2, so 4 fifths is 4 times 0.2, or 0 0.8. 1 eighth, I told you, was 0 0.125, and then you have 0 0.07. Okay, now these are all decimals. It's a little bit easier for me to see which one is, let's see, the largest to smallest. So the largest of these is going to be 0 0.8, okay, so that's going to go first. I'm going to cross it out just so I know now that I'm done with it. The next one's going to be 0 0.6. Okay. Going down from there, we have 0 0.5. And then the next one's going to be 0 0.125. And the last one, 0 0.07. Okay. So now that I have them in order from largest to smallest, one of the key parts of this is you want to make sure that in your final answer, all of your values are back to their original format, because that's going to be what your options are going to look like. So 0.8 was the 4 fifths. And let's see, 0.6 is 0 0.6. 0 0.5 is the fraction 1 half. And then let's see, 0.125 is 1 eighth. And then 0 0.07 is 0 0.07. So this right here is my final value of these numbers arranged from largest to smallest. Let's look at one more example. This time we have fractions and, fractions and decimals, but we also have negative numbers. So remember, the more negative a number, the smaller its value. And it asks you to arrange them from smallest to largest. So let's go ahead and change them all to decimals. 3 fourths is 1 fourth times 3, or 0.25 times 3, so 0.75. I have negative 0 0.21. Negative 1 fifth is negative 0 0.2. Negative 2 thirds. So negative 1 third is negative 0.33. Multiply it by 2. Negative 0 0.66. And then 0 0.09. Okay, so we're going to go smallest to largest. The smallest number here is the one that's the most negative. So I have a couple of negative numbers here. The most negative is negative 0 0.66. So negative 0 0.66. Cross that off now. The next most negative is negative 0 0.21. And then negative 0 0.2. And then let's see, now we have the positive numbers. The smallest positive number is 0 0.09 and then 0 0.75, okay? So now I have all of my values in order from smallest to largest. Let's put them back into their original form, okay? So negative 0.66 was the negative 2 thirds. 
negative 0.21 is negative 0.21. Negative 0.2 was our negative 1 fifth fraction. And then we have 0 0.09, which is the same. And then 0 0.75 was our 3 fourths fraction. So now we have our final answer of the numbers in order from smallest to largest. So I really hope that when you get to these types of problems, remember, I would convert them all to the same format. I personally like decimals. And then when you do that, make sure you put them in order from smallest to largest or largest to smallest, whichever you're asked to do. And then for your final answer, put them back into the original form. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.